Hello, I'm Misty Winkler from Simply Convivial, and today I'm talking about how to use Trello for homeschool checklists. So we use Trello for our homeschool checklists. I have four students, and they each have their own checklist. So the way that we make our checklists in Trello, this took a few, a couple months to kind of figure out the best workflow for this, and um, this is how we have settled on doing it. So this is the master list. Uh, you can see in our Trello, I have my, these are my personal boards. No one else can see these. So this is where I keep the master. I copy these into our homeschool team, which is where the kids can then see them. The older two have their own account and the younger two just use my iPad to check their things off. So to create the master checklists, um, each day of the week has its own column. So this in Trello, this entire list is a board and um, we set up these lists so you can add oops, lists and drag them around. You can come over here, add list and this will be the title of the list, and then you can add cards. And these cards are the to-do list items. So we have lists for each day of the week, and then a card for each thing, plus my older students, the middle school students, have a weekly list. So this is work that they have to do during the week, but I don't care what day they do it. So they might decide to have uh, to spread it out evenly or to have one or two big days of school um, but they get to decide what day to do what as they learn independence in their work. So it starts off with their morning things and this is like their hygiene and home chores so this isn't school but this is still the first checklist that they are supposed to do before they do anything else and yes these are middle school boys so apply deodorant is one of the items on the list so I will just show you as they work through these things and check them off, then when you come back here, it shows up with this, how many items are checked off and it's green. So using a checklist inside of a card has been the best way for us to communicate and show what work needs to be done and what work still needs to be done. So things with the, these are labels here. So you can add a label right here and add a color. And so for a while we were using labels to show what was complete and what wasn't, but um, that didn't work quite as well as just putting a checklist inside each card because then I could communicate what steps needed to be done. And then it still shows that colored bar on the card, which is what helps me kind of glance at their boards and see where they are. Um, so the items on their list that have a purple bar are the things that they are to do with me. And then they can put a label on it if it's something they can't complete because they need help with. And then they also send me a message or leave a comment, which is why this is red up here. So I get comments with, uh, you know, how many words per minute they're typing <laughs> and other notes um, as they work through things. They can leave comments and I see them in my notifications. So even for items that have only one thing, like just reading the story in his history book, we still put a checklist in so that that can be checked and then it shows up as green. So I look that every card has a green box. Um, one of their things like their typing practice, so they're supposed to do the practice and then leave a comment with their typing speed so I can check. My younger students that have extra math, they are supposed to leave a comment with their extra math score. So do extra math and then right here they would type their score and hit send.
So then you can see how many items they have and they can mark things off as they're done. And it's an easy way for us to communicate with one another without a lot of talking <laughs> and um, back and forth. So they can each have their independent work and know what they're supposed to do next. So we love using Trello for our homeschool checklists.